This is Gray Maynard, you're watching MMAElite.net. How, how is it like tr uh, training with Jose Al You know, he's got a fight yeah. against Frankie. Yeah. Like, what, what are yeah. your thoughts on that? Novo Yao is, uh, I mean, it's the top gym in the world, you know. I'd say Novo Yao, AKA, um, those are the two best, my opinion. But, um, you know, it's a good team to train with. A lot of hungry guys, a lot of smaller guys, which helps me out a lot more. But uh, the coach is, is smart and, and um, you know, he trains the guys hard and, and, and uh, makes them prepare for the fights. What do you think about Frankie moving down, down in weight now? Cause look, you guys yeah. had epic battles. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I I still think that's gonna happen again. Me and him, maybe uh, we could do catch weight. Maybe maybe I could go down. Maybe he'll come back up. Whatever. But I mean, that's gotta happen. You know, one one and one. So we gotta end it. We gotta end it. Yeah. What do you got coming up? Well, I just had a knee surgery. So um, I was gonna fight Joe Lazone on December 29th. Um, I think that's at the MGM. But I had to pull out of that fight. You know, I had a knee injury. Then I had a hamstring injury. The knee thing's been going on for about three years now. It just gets worse, worse, and worse. So, you know, it just got to the point where I couldn't train the way I want to. So uh, pulled out of the, pulled out of it, and got my knee fixed. Um, Dr. Reeves out of South Dakota, um, you know he did an awesome job on it, and uh, you know I'm gonna be prepared, get back in, train hard, be healthy, which is a big key in this sport. You can stay healthy. I mean, that's uh, it's a hard job. So you know, do you know who you're going to be fighting next? Nah. No. Is there anyone you you you'd like to? I mean, there's a lot of good names, but uh, my way, it's hard to call out people because you don't really know who's going to beat who. You know, you call out a guy, he loses. <laughs> so you know, his name kind of goes down and. Uh, you know, for me, it's not it's not like a personal thing. It's about you know how I can get to the title the quickest. What name is that? What was your thoughts about that clay fight and you know with the whole Greg Jackson? During the time, during during the actual time, uh, you know, for me it was just it was unbelievable. <laughs> it's like, you know, it was unbelievable. I just didn't understand. You know, you're trying you're trying to deal with all the stuff, and you don't like know like what's going on, and 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 then how they score that, you know, and 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 then it turns into like not, you know, I want to kill this guy, not kill him, but beat him up to to like, all right, he hit me eight times, I hit him nine times, whatever. And that, that's not a fun fight, you know. It should be more about like, you know, trying to cause a lot of damage, more damage. So what was going through your mind when he was like running around? I, I mean, obviously everybody's like, oh, you gotta cut off the cage more, but it's a cage, it's not a, a square. You know, it's, it's an octagon, so it's hard to cut it off if the guy's trying to get out of there. You know, um, I mean, so cut off a little bit, and then I would take a couple big swings, and 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 then he would move, and he would go all the way to the other end of the cage, and then I would I would walk over there, and uh, just Sir, got to walking. What? <laughs> the term was walking too. Just like, well, I'm not yeah, I'm walking, jogging almost, a couple times sprinting, uh, you know, just. I, man, this fight's got to suck to watch. That's what that's what was going through my head. I, but 
you know. When you threw up the fingers, yeah. you just at your point where you're like, I just can't do this. Like, you got to do something. Right. Yeah, man. I was like, that was in the fourth round, maybe third or fourth round. Fourth round, and and uh, you know, it just got to to the point where, you know, I mean, we got to do our job. You know, we got to put on. I mean, it doesn't have to be the craziest, like bloodiest, but I mean, you got to fight. And uh, it just got got to the point where it was like, I'm looking bad now. You know, we both are. You're already doing a good job of that. Now I'm starting to look bad too. <laughs> I was like, it's going nuts. You know, your temper flares a little bit. Like I'm known for that in the gym. Like I get, I get kind of mad, you know, during sparring and everything. But that time uh, it came out in the cage too, so. Whatever, it's over. On to the next one. How's your experience with MMA Elite been? MMA Elite's been around forever, you know. So, um, you know, I've been with them a long time, and 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 the biggest thing for me is loyalty and just you know, you know what to expect every time, you know. And it's 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 a lot about honesty. It's a lot about like. Uh, they take care of you, you take care of them, so um, that's my whole thing, you know. I like that and, and uh, you know, it's been even all the way through, you know. No ups and downs, no like, no craziness, so you know, I appreciate that and I like that and, and that's why I'll be there till the end with MMA Elite. I'm not having the baby. <laughs> My girl is. How, how you feeling? I mean, what thoughts are going through? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. No, I mean it, it. It hasn't. It hasn't hit me. You know, entirely yet. Just because it isn't here. It's in her belly. Like it's crazy. Oh, uh, her her belly will like move. And, and I'm just. I can't put it together that it's a kid yet. You know, I'm just like it's got to be an alien or something. I don't know. But, you know, I got two dogs, so I think I'm prepared. They prepared me for it. <laughs>